Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 33. Today we show you some nifty tricks when saving PowerPoint presentations. On the heels of last week's presentation where we showed you ways that you can make interactive PowerPoint presentations, today we delve into different ways that you can save those presentations. Now I know you might be thinking, isn't there really just one way to save a PowerPoint? I mean, other than like a PDF or something like that, it's just PowerPoint, right? Well, no. You see, PowerPoint allows you to save your presentations into read-only shows as well as templates, which create copies of them whenever you click on them, and even videos. You can also package your presentations for a CD if you're distributing it, or you can compress the media in them to save some space, particularly if they're older presentations. In the first example here, we have a presentation that is an interactive presentation, and I'd prefer it if whenever people clicked on this, it didn't bring them into this editing mode. I want it to start to show immediately. So you can go to File and Save As, choose where you want to save it. And this time, instead of PPTX, you choose PowerPoint Show, which is PPSX. Then go ahead and open that up, and you'll notice that the icon looks a little different. If you double click it, it does not bring up the editor. You just start playing the show. If you'd like to go in and make edits to this, you are going to have to do something a little different. One, you can open up your original PowerPoint file and make changes to that. If you don't have that anymore, right clicking on this and opening it with PowerPoint will not solve your problem. It'll just launch it. What you have to do is actually go into PowerPoint and while you're in PowerPoint, go to file and open and then choose the file you want to make changes to. And then it'll bring it in and let you make some changes and you can pick up where you left off and you're good to go. The second thing I wanted to show you was how to save it as a template. So let's say you have something like this as a Jeopardy game and you want to distribute this and unfortunately you don't want people to open up the original one that you send them because you expect them to be able to make several of these. So you want to save it as a PowerPoint template. You can go up here to File and Save As and Presentations and you can choose Template. Now here's the thing. When you choose this, it's going to change your location to your Custom Office Templates folder, no matter where you were before. So you may uh, want to go back and choose the folder you had before. And so we're going to go back to my Downloads and Demo and Presentations folder. So this is where I wanted it before. Just to understand that it will change the location whenever you choose Template. And you have to kind of be aware of it because you might be wondering, like, where did this go? So once you've saved it, you can close it out. And if you double click on it, it will launch and it will open up ready for editing. The difference here is that this is a presentation one now. It created a copy, it did not modify your original. Okay, the third thing I wanted to show you was how to compress the media. Now I have an old presentation here that I gave back in 2011, some web-based teaching tools for teachers. And it is almost four megabytes in size, not too big, but it does have some images in there. And it is a PPT, the old school 2003 PowerPoint. If I open this up and I want to go and save it, I want to go over here and choose Convert first. Convert will convert it to the new version and go ahead and kind of compress images and things like that. It'll save as a PPTX and it should immediately make a difference in file size, especially if it's image heavy. So yeah, it went from 3.8 megs to 2.8 megs, which is almost a 20, 30% reduction. It's not too bad. Now, what happens if you have a presentation that's already a PPTX, but it was kind of old and um, you think it could be a little bit more streamlined. This is one I gave a long time ago on Google and it's very image heavy and it's about eight megabytes in size. You can compress any image that you see in your presentation simply by selecting it, going up to the picture tools menu, choose format, and then choose compress pictures. Now here's where a lot of people mess up. By default, it's set to apply only to this picture. Click that to turn that off so that it applies it to all pictures in the, in the document. Then choose the resolution you want. You may have some of these grayed out. I'm gonna choose email because I want this to be really, really compressed and choose okay. It goes through the presentation and compresses all the images. Then you wanna go ahead and save it. Now I'm gonna save as and choose a different name so that we can distinguish the two and see the difference. Now when I go back here, my first one is eight megs, 8.9 megs. My second one is 5.4 meg, which is an almost 40% reduction. I think like 35 to 35 to 40% reduction. So the fourth thing I wanted to show you is if you go to file and choose export, you can choose package presentation for CD. This basically will burn a CD that auto plays and starts your presentation for you. It's pretty good if you want to distribute this at a uh, convention or something like that. But honestly, you should probably just put them up online. You can choose create video if you've got recorded timings and so on, it works really well. Um, and it'll go ahead and go through it and create a movie file. Now I have a video I did already on that uh, for Tech Tuesday. I think it's Tech Tuesday number eight. And I'll leave a link to that video in the top right corner of this video. 
Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then go ahead and click that like button. Heck, why not support us and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below. Share this video with your friends. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.